good afternoon and welcome to our facebook live session as some of you who have been attending this regularly would know that we are doing a series of these sessions today we are at session number 5 and we will be talking about can upskilling impact entrepreneurial opportunities uh and before i really you know go deep into that topic uh i don't know you call it chance or choice but whatever it is there's a nice saying on the wall behind me what we think we become buddha so so with that positive note you know making good use of the background behind me i'll start and uh once again uh just as a reminder uh we are going to talk about can up skilling impact on the entrepreneurial opportunities because there is this age old argument that entrepreneurs are born uh, and not made and the additional argument that i always hear is that uh, how can you learn entrepreneurship so those are the two topics we'll try to dig deep into but the idea here is this is more a conversation and and not just a monologue so please carry on the conversation by commenting on this video if you're watching it live or if you're watching it later recorded if you also have friends who who you know are going through a similar question a same dilemma or are experts who can comment at this please tag them into the conversation because we'd love to hear their perspectives and carry on this conversation rather than this being a one off event this is part of our series of facebook live mini webinar sessions that we are doing it's really about people who are confused how to progress in their careers so why did we choose entrepreneurship as one of the eight topics because or rather these are the questions people ask us and and we chose it as one of those eight key questions that come to us when people say how do i progress in my career what are the next steps what career path should i take should i look for a promotion should i become an entrepreneur and do something of my own what does it take in either of those two situations and so on so that's why you know and just on the screen you will see in two slides this one and the next one the eight key questions we uh, we chose we've already covered four today is session number 5 any of you who are interested in any of these topics can follow us on our facebook page which is facebook.com/pearsonpp pp stands for professional programs and you'll find the old events old recordings there feel free to comment on any of those if you have questions reflections and so on these are the other four and today we are going to be talking about entrepreneurship as an option uh, my name is varun dhamija for uh, those of you uh, who are here new uh, my key interests are both in emerging technologies as well as in edtech i'm a graduate of the indian school of business and my twitter handle is varun d if you'd like to follow me as you know a little bit of blowing our own trumpet so that you know who we are as space and profession programs we uh, offer both enterprise as well as individual learning and we are accountable for giving people the wholesome experience across a program or a certificate course and in some sense we bring global learning opportunities at market relevant prices in a context that works for you specifically for you with analytics and embedded efficacy in our programs so you know coming to the topic of the day does upskilling or exec ed impact entrepreneurial attitude and opportunities we'll try to define what that means so what's entrepreneurship you know and i chose that picture for a reason because that's how we see it as it's it's an uphill climb uh it it could also be dangerous uh and i don't mean to dissuade any of you from entrepreneurship because my firm belief is that an entrepreneur's job is just like that mountain climber's job 
the idea is not to take risk the idea is to cut risk so before reaching the top that climber in that photo is planning every move carefully that guy also has the perseverance to go through the journey and not quit in the middle imagine you are in the middle of a mountain and you feel like you want to quit who's going to bail you out right i'm quite sure it's about planning it's about preparing it's about some evaluation of what your core strengths and weaknesses are and how do you go through that long arduous journey of climbing that mountain entrepreneurship entrepreneurship dear friends is in my view something similar so according to me and while this list can go on uh but the core of an entrepreneur are the traits on the screen it's really about making your dreams come true uh but if it were only about that then all our dreams would come true all we have to do is go to sleep have nice dreams wake up in the morning and you know it's life is fantastic it reminds me of this movie called fukre where the guy dreams the lottery numbers each time he's going to sleep and there's somebody constructing the story for him and so on i wish that could happen in real life and we all had a lottery ticket but for an entrepreneur intellect is extremely important so are drive and focus you need to have that drive every day imagine as an entrepreneur there's no boss to tell you what to do so you need to be self driven also remember that as an entrepreneur there's no boss to tell you what not to do you are your own boss after all so you need intense focus the next one is extremely important you need critical thinking ability to judge a situation because you can't read a situation too positively neither as an entrepreneur you can read it as too negative and then there are various factors that go on into assessing a situation and so on and so forth how do you really balance that it's a tough ask for any of us i know we face that at work every day every other week every quarter we make strategic choices and i'm not saying we are not good at work by doing that but there's a big difference as much passionate as i may be at work i might want to display owner like qualities it's all good but inherently if it were my own money just because of my subtle you know thinking in my brain my risk taking ability over a period goes down as an entrepreneur the flip side for some of the people is they want to build that risk taking ability and just burn up their money so more than a science it's an art how to you know sort of strike that balance other qualities like we talked about before planning and execution i put them both together uh, no point of just planning and not executing leadership is extremely important in many many facets not just with your teams but indirect stakeholders your customers your clients and there are two different things your investors if any and so on uh list is endless communication skills you've got a great idea but is it packaged right with your teams can you say the right things to them in a way that they will hear it while balancing your external factors around you and so on fiscal sense and discipline super important decision x can have five outcomes when a butterfly flaps its wings in you know one place there's a flood or an earthquake in another so think about how your actions sort of you know uh, create an impact positive or negative 
you need the ability to read P&Ls, balance sheets. Even if it's a small business, you need some prudent commercial sense in your deals. May not have a P&L and balance sheet to read right now. Cash flow, planning, those things are super important. But the last one's my favorite for entrepreneurs. It's the ability to adjust. Planning is extremely important, like I said before, but plans are meant to go wrong. Murphy, Murphy said that I didn't. So Mr. Murphy can pay you a visit any day, especially as an entrepreneur. So be flexible, have the ability to adjust. Now that we've you know, defined some key traits of an entrepreneur, and please feel free to add more in your comments or disagree on some of those or build on what I said in the comment section. But now I'm going to sort of move on to the next section and talk about which one of these are, can be impacted by skilling. And in my own judgment and experience, I color coded these to say what's a direct impact and what's an indirect impact. I'm not going to go into the detail of this, but things like ability to adjust, they are impacted by skilling because you work in a team setting, you go through assignments, deadlines, projects, and so on. But no learning can directly teach you to impact your behavior. That's why I've coded it as a yellow, which is an indirect impact by learning. Uh, but things like critical thinking, they are definitely very impacted by learning. And remember that, you know, you need to choose what kind of learning you go through for some of these. Uh, so not too much to add, but here are some topics for you to think of if you're looking to become an entrepreneur. Again, I'd not like to read each of these, but leave them on the screen. But this is an area of topics, includes investing, finding the right team members, early stage things like what's your customer value prop? How do you, you know, size the market? What's a minimum viable product so that you can test a product market fit? How do you then go to market, create a strategy, a digital presence that's super important today and so on. So feel free to, you know, come back later or if you're watching this recorded, pause your screen uh, and, and read through these. Uh, and for those of you who are looking to become an entrepreneur or scaling their venture, we might very soon be able to help you. We're coming up with a very good program that's very good for entrepreneurs who are at an early to mid stage or people still toying around with the idea or people who have an idea in mind and you know, are looking to take it to the next stage. Uh, in our view, it's going to be an extremely practical, specific program. So if you are keen and you want to be added to the list to be notified first, please write to ppp.edge at pearson.com with the subject launch pad and put your contact details in the email. And we'll make sure we come to you first. With that, I'd like to thank you all for joining the session. And like I said earlier, Please do carry on this conversation and we value your comments as always. Look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Have a good one.